Hi guys, this is Avinash Sharma and in this session we will discuss the what is the Boyce called normal form in normalization in MS SQL Server. Now if we check this diagram and when we do the normalization so we, we can check how the normalization is done. During the normalization when we move from one stage to another stage means advanced stage then we have to make sure that the current stage fulfill all the criteria of the previous stage. For example, if we are working on the stage 2, second normal form, it means in that case we have to make sure that second stage fulfill all the criteria of the stage 1 and the same case stage 3. In this stage we have to make sure the criteria and the rules and regulation of the stage 1 and stage 2 are already fulfilled. And same case with, with the stage 3. Now we will discuss the BSNF. We are assuming that all the criteria of the previous stage, say stage 3, 2 and 1 are already fulfilled. Now we check the BSNF, Boyce Coid Normal Form. As we discussed, first of all we have to make sure when we move from one stage to another, means an advanced stage, then we have to make sure that the current stage fulfill all the criteria of the previous stage. So we have this table that is the student ID, subject and the professor. The student ID and the subject is the composite key. Now we check the rules of the stage 1 or uh, any attributes or column should not have the multiple value. Yes, there is no multiple value in any column. Each record needs to be unique. Yes, all together 101 Java say, say unique. Then second normal form, it should be in the first normal form and all non-key attributes are fully functional dependent on the primary key. So in simple word, it should not have the partial dependency. Yes, there is no partial dependency in this stage. It means this stage also covers the stage 2. Now we talk about the third normal form, it should be in the second normal form and there is no transitive functional dependency. As we discussed in the previous video, sometimes the two column might be dependent to each other. So there is no such case in this table. It means this table also clears the third normal form. Now we check the BCNF normal form. So as we discussed, this is the advanced version of the third normal form. And this is more stricter than the third normal form. So to convert the table into B, uh, BCNF mode, first of all, that table should be already in the third normal form that is the rule and secondly for any dependency x suppose x must be a candidate key if you check this table student id subject id and the professor so subject id it means student id can choose the multiple subject say 101 101 then java c++ by the same student but to avoid the duplicacy of the student and the subject we have created the composite key of the student id and the subject so in that case subject is the part of the candidate candidate key so we can say subject is the prime attribute but the professors multiple professors say this uh, pr java and pr java 2 professor can teach the same subject say java java so in this case subject is dependent on the professor and professor is a non key attribute. So, BCNF model says this should uh, this is not allowed. In this case, professor cannot be a non key attribute because the subject is the prime attribute. So, what is the solution? Solution is divide this table into two more tables again, the primary and the foreign key. In this student table, we have the ID student id and now professor id since of professor id is the foreign key from the professor table in the professor we are maintaining the unique id for the professor and then name of the professor and the subject taught by the professor so this is how we can convert the third normal form into the bcnf normal form